wonder if we want to wait and make sure this don't leak. Nah. Nah. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are silly. Y'all are silly. We might push a little in down here just to hold it down. Let's go, Pepper. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, the boys are staying home today. Clance is on spring break, actually. He doesn't have any classes this week. And Cody stayed home today. It's my lunch break. And the boys decided I should come film for them for lunch. <laughs> so, let's go see what they're up to. I don't even know what all they were going to try to accomplish today. I just know that they came in the house looking for something that they misplaced and had to go to town and rebuy it because they don't know where it's at. So here we go. Let's go see. It looks like we're water lining. Bub had a lot of this done already and it looks like they're trying to get it finished. I guess they did most of it with the trencher and now they've got this little mini X I guess to finish it. This is easy dirt out here. It's not rocky out here. A lot different from up at the house and everywhere else on the place. Laying it in there? Yep. What part, what, what did y'all lose and couldn't find? That corner part right there? Yep. That was it? Looks like you're going to have to use a shovel. So we all finished this today? Yep. In two hours we will. We should be through for pretty quick. We've already got everything done all the way over to the other side. All we gotta do is just start looking stuff up. So when will you finish the pins? Hopefully in the next couple weeks. I just mean th this pin. I gotta hang the gates and right. put the deal up. Joby says you get one try with this. So put that on here. You only get one try? Yeah, he said when this thing... clicks right there, it don't open up anymore. That's it. It don't. So push that on there. Is that straight? Hang on, is that in? Is that straight? Better than the factory. All the way. You see the red right there through that little hole? That's how you know you got it all the way in there. All right, hold that right there. I hope you know you're doing this right. Me too, Chris. Hold on, push up with this. No, that's where it goes. It's not. 
touching the blue? It's it's where it goes, All right, bro. Go ahead. It's where it goes. All right, go ahead. Hardly look like that would hold and do it, does it? Wouldn't pull on it, is it? Why? How? Why can they smell it? Is it pull? I don't know what that's for, but that's what that's that's all you're supposed to do is get it down to those where you see red, and then you're done. All right. Well, let's stick it down in the hole. worried about it freezing y'all. Bob, well, take your st stick and see if you can smooth that hump out that's underneath the bottom right back there from under mom without hitting it with the nail. wonder if we want to wait and make sure this don't leak. Nah. nah. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are silly. Y'all are silly. We might push a little in down here just to hold it down. Alright, these guys haven't been videoing, but they've already become professional plumbers over here, it looks like. cut this and make this last attachment and then we'll be done with this for today I think we're gonna let it set up overnight before we it's not very hot today and I'd like it to be sure it sets up good and then we'll we, in here we're gonna dump a little sand in here there's lots of little rocks and stuff so. good thing you got a little sand pile over there huh yeah good thing I got some sand all right Clint send me the orange cutters that are on the foot of the there we go, or right there. Yeah, those orange cutters right there. Yeah, you ain't even Don't cut it too short. Co sizzle. Don't cut it too short. It's not co sizzle, it's co dizzle. I know, I was just being silly. Well, that's not silly, that's just dumb. Okay, okay. Hey. Do you need this? Yes, we're gonna need that. See how smart I am? That was some like. Smart stuff you got rocks in there, Cody. Yeah, go down there and pick it up in the middle. How do you even get rocks in it, Dad? This looks pretty good over here. It flopped and just looks pretty good. <clears throat> pick up, yeah, right in there somewhere. There it goes. Got your rock out. All right, let me have it here. Okay. Hold it. Mom, we're gonna need those big blue pliers right there. Got it. Yeah, I didn't know. You hold what you got. <clears throat> Let 
Did she work? No. Well, it's crimped. We shall see. We gotta wait till tomorrow to turn it on. Okay, till tomorrow, guys. Till tomorrow, but now we're gonna go. Lunch. We can, we can. We don't need this to cover it up. We can cover it up with the tractor. So we can take that back. We're gonna take that back and then head and get our tractor. You're gonna scrape, scrape off your deal. Real I'm quick. gonna scrape that deal off real quick while Bob goes and grabs him a bite to eat, and then we're gonna go look at and person possibly purchase a little an older tractor to put on the feed mixer so that we're not having to hook up and unhook about mm. I think it's going to be somewhere between five thousand and fifty five hundred dollars but it'll be well worth it to not have to unhook and hook the tractor up all the time to use the tractor with the loader on it so as much as I'd love to have a skid steer I can't justify spending thirty or forty thousand dollars right now but I can justify fifty five hundred so that's unless a company wants to sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, unless, unless Bobcat wants to send us one. Anybody with a tracked machine wanted to send us one, we would, we would gladly try it out just for you guys to let you know if there's any count or not. Okay. Doggy ranching. All right, folks. So we got the water line put in this morning and uh, we're letting it finish setting up and we made about a, what is about an hour trip from our house? Hour and a half from town, but about an hour sure. from our house. So. Let me show you what we came to get. So a lot of you might have been speculating, hey, they got them a new skid steer. Well, you would be wrong. So here's what we bought, guys. This is a John Deere 2130. I believe it was made in the late 70s. It's about a 70 horsepower tractor. It was originally a cabbed model, but that's all been jerked out of it since. But uh, we found this on Facebook Marketplace. $5,500 buy. Which is not bad. But this is going to be the mixer tractor. That red wasp get after you? Huh? That red wasp get after you? No. Huh. I sneezed. So this is going to be Clancy's mixer wagon tractor. So its sole job for the foreseeable future is just to be hooked up to the new diet mixer and just run feed that's going to be his life for the rest for as long as we have him so or her i don't know what, what, what we need to think of a name for this little tractor this little jewel but um the man we bought him from bought this tractor from it's got two brand new tires on the rear a brand new tire on the front this one's still doing good this front tire here is still holding air good so he didn't replace it got a new key switch on it all fresh service had the radiator fixed it had some leaks uh cleaned out the fuel tank so new exhaust on it new muffler so yeah we're excited come on thing get back over here we're excited to get her home and see how she does so all right thanks guys she looks like something off of uh cars She looks like something off the movie Cars. Off the movie Cars? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It just reminds me of like Tomato or something. <laughs> She's a mute, Clark. some people talking about the way we changed and boomered it but we made it home John Deere 2130. So I think based off of the serial number, if I was, if I remember, 
looked right. I think this one was made in 70, 1976, so it's approaching 50 years of age. Um, I call this my Facebook find. It was on Marketplace, 5,500 bucks. I probably could have got it for five if I'd have tried it a little bit harder, but the, the gentleman that we bought it from had put probably more than that in it, so I was like, I'm not going to try it. He felt sorry for him. I offered him, 50, I offered him five for it, and he was like, oh, come on now. He <laughs> said, it's worth more than that. And I said, well, how many people have done come looked at it? He said, none. And I said, <laughs> nobody? He said nobody in that whole time? Well, he, he backs them off because he tells them that it, it won't fit on a regular little like a 16 foot bumper pull because the tires are too wide to go inside the the rail so you got to call it on a gooseneck so he said he had one guy that was interested but he didn't come look at it because he didn't have a trailer big enough to haul it so um she got a few hydraulic leaks here and there some little minor ones good thing you know uh, good thing you know a good hydraulic guy yeah but it's got two brand new 15 5 38 rear tire oh these are 18 fours it's supposed to have uh, I think 15 fives, but that's even, that may be why it looks like it's fixing to rub the lights and everything. He may have put a long size tire on it. Um, this is a brand new front tire. The other one over there is in good shape. Um, he had the radiator redone on it. He cleaned the fuel tank out on it, changed all the fluids, put a new starter switch on it. Um, new muffler. There was a, a few broke bolts in the exhaust manifold that he took out and redid. So, all of that said, it, it's a, I think it's a pretty decent tractor for 5500 bucks. One loader. Only time will tell, but uh, the neat thing about it, it was a cabin air-conditioned tractor. Where's the key at? No wonder it looks like that. Did you leave it in it? No. I hope I took, I hope I took it out in the truck. <laughs> 